Morning. It's Vlogmas time, cause it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Vlogmas time, cause it's Christmas time. So enjoy my daily vlogs, because it's Christmas time now. Yeah, uh, yes, okay, that now. It's Wednesday. I have zero energy to work out today. How about you, bud? Open my garage door. Please and thank you. All right. Hold on. Abby and I did the volunteer thing last night, and we got back at nine, and then she had work to do, and I had work to do, and I think we worked till about 11. And I'm glad I got the work done. It was worth staying up for. It's just making me a little... Ugh, unmotivated today. Oh, the gardeners are here. My neighbor's gardeners, not mine. I don't like paying for gardeners. It's an hour of my week. I could do it myself, but I don't, so I should probably get gardeners. <laughs> I'm getting your bed. Relax. Yeah, this bed goes up there. Thank you. See? I got work this weekend. Go to spot. Come on. Do it. All right. I'm just going to work out now. It's ab day. Okay. I finished my workout. It's a good workout. Glad I did it. Um, but I'm picking this one to go to the groomers. Abby has a meeting, so she can't go, so I'm gonna drop her off real quick. Let's see what she's gonna end up looking like. This is the before. What? Hello? I have very strict instructions. They're not allowed to shave her nose. They're not allowed to trim her beard. And Abby sent me a picture of what she wants her ears to look like. So I was thinking about it, I was like, is that too much to ask of a groomer? But when you go to get your hair cut, you have very specific things you want done to your hair. I've never had a groom get dogs groomed before. Blaze, I spray with a hose every once in a while, and Snoop, I get baths too. I've never had to like trim their fur before. All right, little one, let's go get you groomed. I gotta come back and work, work. Ah, I gotta pay for them Christmas presents. But I also shouldn't get in a crash right now because that would not make it a very joyous holiday season, now would it? I'm hot, why is the heater on? Disgusting. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't even see what's in that screen. Look who's back from the groomer with your new haircut. You look so princess. You look so princess. Oh, we're trying this new thing to make it so her ears don't get as matted. Oh, I think you're adorable. You got the little Dutch boy. Yeah. <laughs> you look so cute. Me, little me. Yeah, that's my butt. Oh, oh there's a car. Let's go. Please, I don't want to edit anymore. I've been editing all day. That's a lie. I did my podcast. And you have just been sleeping, lounging, licking, sniffing, being a dog, and I'm editing. It would help if you learned how to edit. I feel like I wouldn't feel so taken advantage of or used. I feel like I'm building resentment towards you because you're not working. And look at your tiny little rat tail. Just poking out. I'm gonna need you to start pulling your weight around here, bud. Being cute can only get you so far in life, sir. Okay. I am PMSing. I've already cried once today. That's all I know of PMSing is when I cry because that's not a normal response for me. I have been editing all day and uh, I am exhausted and I still have a little editing to go, but we're actually going to go do something fun. Kendall, who's my friend, um, she's a TikToker and her partner Jordan put on this gay dating show and we went to it last month and loved it and now we're going to th go to it again this month. It's an, a dating show and then an improv show after based on the dating show and it's for the gays uh, and Abby's cousin is actually going to be in it this time. So we're very excited. So a group of us are going to go support him um, and I'm waiting for them to get in the car. I should go get grab a flex and put that in.
My little fuzzy top that goes on my camera is missing. What the f- Where is it? Hold on, I'll show you. My little fuzzy top is supposed to go right here. It covers the microphone. So there's just, you don't get and stuff. It's- My camera's been here all day. How did I lose that? It's on the- Did you eat it? How did that happen? Oh, uh, no. Well, let me see what time it is. It is 12.20. I am just now going to bed. We went to the comedy show. It was hilarious. And then I came home and I had to edit for another two hours. And now I am calling it quits. I got my podcast edited. I'll upload it in the morning. I am so sorry I didn't vlog as much as I should today. I was uh, editing all day. Wednesdays are always hectic. It's one of the reasons I'm quitting ETI is because you have to film, edit, and upload all in one day because you want it to be the most like current news. This is back when we covered news, but the channel is becoming too much of a gossip channel, which I did not want. I don't want to support or get into any of that line of work because it's trash. Um, so, which is another reason why I'm canceling ATI. No one wants to hear positive news. I just want the drums, the tea, the goss. So anyway, Wednesdays are always just at crazy edits. Crazy edit days, but I'm gonna go to bed. I'll close this out tomorrow. Come on, let's go to bed. You gotta tinkle. Oh, I found my fuzzy top. Hold on, ta-da, woo! It was in my car. I forgot that I took my camera to the comedy show, but I forgot to record with it, and I ended up just taking my phone inside. I'm gonna sit on the ground. Ugh! My lower back, I threw out my lower back, and by threw it out, I mean, hold on, stop the wiggles. I was sleeping in bed. My cat, Stevie, jumped on the bed, slept between my legs, and then I didn't want to move to disturb her, so I didn't move, and I really needed to, and I ended up just tweaking my back by not moving while I slept. Neat. It's been about a week. I've been doing exercises and stretches, but I just sound like an old person every time I have to move. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, but I'm doing fine. We're trucking on. Okay, the show last night. If you live in the LA area and you have a chance to see the show, please go. It's the gay dating show. No, it's a dating game, G-A-Y-M-E. Uh, they have an Instagram. Kendall and Jordan put it on. It is so funny. Shane was a hot commodity. Shane is Abby's cousin. He was very timid to go on the show. He was nervous. It's nerve wracking. Going on a dating show, are you gonna be liked? Are people gonna want you? Are you gonna find the one? Are you gonna find no one? Are you gonna make a fool of yourself? Well, Shane was a hot commodity. Everyone wanted to talk to Shane. Definitely a little boost of confidence for him. He, he tried to stay humble about it, but everyone was wanting to talk to him. Uh, and he's a cutie patootie. I, I love him so much. So made sense. We had a lot of fun though. And Abby and I were talking how we felt it was made for us because we knew him. We know Jordan and Kendall. Uh, Devin ran on stage at one point and they were making jokes about her. We felt it was a show just for us. And that is a fantastic audience experience, if I do say so myself. So a rocking good time. We stayed after, said hi to everyone and then came home and I edited. I got into bed about one, woke up at like seven. I got a full six hours. We can do a full day on six hours. I used to live off of six hours a night. When did that stop? I think it was cause one night I magically got nine and I, my body said, yeah, we went that from now on. That's three more hours that I'm less productive and just sleeping in a day. I, what? I don't know. I'm gonna leave. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, this is a shorter vlog. I have been trying to make them longer. Wednesdays are just hard, but we only have two more ATIs, so only two more terrible- Hey, please stop licking. I'm in the middle here. I'm talking here. Don't yawn. I am trying really hard not to make noises when I yawn. You're just licking your mouth for no reason, buddy. Am I still PMSing? Yes. Well, I've noticed when people yawn and they go, Aah! it's kind of annoying. And then I notice the people that don't annoy me don't make noises when they yawn. So I'm gonna try and make a mental note of not making noises when I yawn. Also, I had a friend in high school who said he found it super rude whenever anyone yawned without covering their mouth. Maybe I'm gonna try it up my game here in life. I'm not gonna make noises when I yawn and I'm gonna try and cover my mouth when I do it. Let's try and be better people, shall we? Merry Christmas.